there's a eight bar intro after the bass comes in for four counts they come in with this <laughs> So what he's doing there is he's doing double stops on the B and E string and we're at the 4th fret to 5 and we hit them both at the same time so the E is open. That's the first part and then we hit the E and then the B like four times. Then we do it again and we go back and forth between the E, B, E, B. So it sounds all together like this. So for the power chords we're doing E. Come up with the bottom strings, strike the first three, and then come back up with the bottom three. And then we go to a C power chord, but we're adding the um, G sharp note, so it's heavier. The second guitar, which is a little more prominent, does the first E chord the same. And then he comes into the G and the B string. So what he's doing there is when he comes to the G and the B string, he's hitting those together as a double stop. Then he comes up and hits on the B string, the uh, seventh fret, back to the uh, fourth fret. And does it again. So it sounds like this. Then the second time, then we come from seven to, and we hold five. So together, both of those sound like this. He does that for four measures or uh, two sets, and then they come in with this lick. So it's two on the F sharp, and then we come down to C sharp, down to B up to uh, the G sharp, and then hit an A power chord. Now the verse is real similar. Um, what he's doing during the verse is we're playing double stops again at the, um, it's like an E chord, D, but we're only playing on the G and the B string. So we're on the fourth fret of the G, fifth fret of the B. And then he lets up to the G and B on the four. So the first part of that goes like this. Then the second half of it follows like the uh, intro. So we go from seven to the five on the B. So both together in the verse sound like this. Now we're into the chorus. The chorus is A and E, but the A part he does an octave in there. So we go A, then we go to a D sharp to a, E, I'm sorry, to F sharp, back to A, to D sharp, E sharp, and then we go back to C sharp. Then we come to E and follow the same first set of chords with D sharp, E, and F. Then the second E, we come up to the uh, F sharp, G sharp, to D sharp. 
so it sounds like this. <laughs> come in with that lick. During this part, the E, the second half of the E, there's another guitar. Um, I hear it in there. It sounds like he's doing So the second half, I think they're, uh, they're uh, harmonizing. So it goes like this. Uh, You can, uh, if you've got two guitars, you can harmonize, but otherwise, I think the predominant second half of that is the F sharp up to um, G sharp, back to D sharp. Now we're to the middle section where the drums are crashing, and uh, we come in with uh, a lick that's very similar to the beginning. Okay, so what he's doing in that part is we do the beginning section. And then that little stretch up on the third string at the fourth fret. And we do it again with the beginning, the uh, four to five on the B string. Then we do it again with the stretch up. And then we come in with the four, five, seven, and nine. And then he comes in, we're playing actually at E, but we're just doing the, uh, at the ninth fret on the G and the B string. And then we take the G string back to the eighth fret. And then he stretches them up. So after we stretch those strings up, he comes in with the to the C sharp. For uh, four measures. So after the middle section, we come in with the chorus and we're doing six bars. After that last E, he comes all the way up to G sharp and then ends with the lick. So I'll show you the chorus and how it goes at speed. Last little part, just uh, the guitar goes, hits it once on the D sharp and slides back. So it goes from D sharp to E, back to C sharp and B. So I'm only hitting it once. And the song ends. I hope you guys like and enjoy.